rhyme. Charter man, charter man, charter man, rhyme. Three comics, twists are hella sick, hella wacky nicks. Take a bad hit, take a bad hit. Charter man, subscribe. Hey there, baby. It's story time. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shortimus Prime here doing another SH Figure Arts figure review on the SH Figure Arts Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Blue Ranger. Again, gotta give a big thanks to my buddy Chu for making this review possible. He just let me use all his stuff that he picked up at Fanime recently to review. This is awesome, man. This figure is not set to be released in June. So if you want to pre order yours right now, you can do it at Big Bad Toy Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. The standard packaging that we've seen on all the other Mighty Morphin Power Rangers from SH Figure Arts looks pretty awesome. We get a picture of the figure right here. You get the figure in this window packaging. It says ages 15 and up. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 20 year anniversary. Bandai Tamashi Nations right here at the bottom. Here's the side of the packaging. And then it says right here we got option parts molding movable blue rangers simple style and heroic action now on the side it says blue ranger right over here and then on the top again with the blue ranger and then at the bottom uh, it doesn't say blue ranger at all just this warning so anyway let's get to this figure and crack it open and here's a blue ranger out of the packaging and tamashi nations has been very consistent with these power rangers consistently awesome really really like what they're doing with these figures i think this is great figure looks awesome nothing to complain about he's got two plugs one in the back one in the butt and then he comes with his lance he comes with a bunch of accessories actually so let's take a closer look at the accessories and then we'll take a closer look at this power figure comes with this operation manual telling you all the accessories that come with the figure so you can see all that listed right over here and there's nothing on the back so Billy comes with four sets of hands. He comes with a pair of fisted hands. I have one upside down, one facing downward. And then these more squish kind of fisted hands over here. And then he has two gripping hands. And one of them has a tighter grip than the other. This has the wider grip. This has the tighter grip. I find these ones right here to be actually more useful. I feel like his lances are a little too loose for this larger grip. And of course, he also comes with a Blade Blaster and a Thunder Slinger that we've seen with all the other Power Rangers figures. These look pretty good, nicely sculpted, nicely painted. And he also comes with two sets of lances. So there's one that forms the staff version, and then these are the separate ones over here. They do not connect at all, so it makes it easier posing them with this one over these two. And I really like the silver paint applications on these. They look very clean. I like the gold right over here. And these black bands coming around the handle look very nice too. And they don't connect, so it's just two empty ports on these. And yeah, they don't connect at all, which is fine. Uh, one thing though is on this one, I feel like this one should be a bit larger. Uh, looking up some pictures, this is a bit longer. It is a little physically inconsistent, but in the show, the staff version of the lances was actually longer than the two lances put together. And he also comes with the power bow and the power daggers for assembling the power blaster where all the weapons combine at once. You can see this power bow has these slots right over here for the lances and the daggers. The daggers look pretty cool. This is the first time we've seen anything for the Yellow Ranger at all, so I think that's pretty nice. Look at that. Nice paint applications. Silver looks good. These bands look pretty nice. Got some gold right there. And there's the tab. So in trying to get all of this assembled, I don't think it's really ready yet. Uh, I can get the daggers in here just fine, so that's not a big deal. The lances go in here pretty well too, so that's not difficult. So just tab all of these in here. Yeah, there we go. So it's almost ready, just not quite ready yet. Because as I try to get this, uh, you know, inserted into the power axe, it gets a little tricky. And then this sword is meant to be tabbed into something. So yeah, I think we're going to need a different axe. But this is pretty much how it's going to look. It's almost there. So the helmet on this figure is consistently awesome, as with all the other SH Figure Arts Power Rangers figures. You can see the reflection of my lamps in his helmet. Very, very glossy, shiny plastic going on over here. Again, loving the silver paint applications for the mouth area. Got some glossy paint for the visor. You can see the silver and gold. We got the gold for the eyes right there. And we have the three horns for his triceratops. That's pretty cool. I'm digging it. These are all sculpted on here. They're not just painted on. They're very nicely sculpted on this figure. And we have some lines coming through the helmet as well. This looks very cool. And as far as the body mold, it's the same body mold that we saw on the Black Ranger. So there's nothing really new here. Uh, his morpher, though, is different. When I try to get a close look at the morpher, it looks like a triceratops. So I think that's pretty cool. The paint applications on the rest of the figure are very clean. Again, I really like the seams and the wrinkles and the boots of this figure. Came out looking very nice. I think they did a great job on this guy. It's pretty awesome. And here's a final look at the back of the figure. 
pretty dope. And of course this figure has some great articulation. You can move his head up that far. You can move him down looking like that. He has some neck pivot over here and you can turn his head side to side. He has these shifty shoulders right over there so you can move the shoulder joints outward. You can rotate them forward. This doesn't get in the way and when you get gaps you can cover it up which I think is great. He rotates side to side up here as well. Double jointed elbows. He has wrists that are on a swivel and you can pivot them side to side or up and down depending on which way you turn them. He has a diaphragm joint that turns side to side. He can't really crunch forward too well, but he can move back a bit and he does have some pivot over here. He also has a waist joint that can move side to side, does move forward and back and also has some pivot. He has these dual joints right over here at the hips. You, you can also move the holster right here side to side or it can come off. But yeah, you have these joints that move downward and you can shift them up. So that is really cool and you can move them outward over here. And that shifting is extremely helpful when getting the figure to kick so that you don't get any plastic rubbing against itself. And I think that is awesome. He also has an upper thigh swivel right here, double jointed knees, ankles move down, up, rotate side to side, beautiful ankle pivot and toe articulation. So Billy here stands just under six inches. And here he is standing next to the SH Figuarts Black Ranger and they stand at about the same height. And here he is next to the SH Figuarts Son Goku. Look forward to a review of this guy coming soon. And then here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. And here he is with all my other SH Figuarts Mighty Morphin Power Rangers figures and we just need one more to complete this. Yeah, I have the White Ranger and the Green Ranger next to each other. So we only have to wait till late July or August for Trini to come out and then we'll have our complete Mighty Morphin Power Rangers set. These are awesome. I think SH Figure Arts is doing a fantastic job with these. Highly recommend them. Very poseable. It's an awesome collection to have. Be sure to check out Bluefin Tamashi Nation's Facebook. Link is in the description below if you want to catch up on all the updates coming out from them. And please check out ToyNewsEye.com for a full photo gallery of images and hit the like button if you liked the video. Leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. And they look fantastic. I really like the silver. Oh.